Hey, what's up guys? This is my Reddit Cake Day Countdown Clock. Now stay with me and I'll show you how you can make one of these yourself. So let's go. So I've created the 3D print file which you can get in the link below. So go check that out, download it, throw it into your 3D printer. Now it only needed about 15% infill. It was quite easy to print. I actually did it with supports but I probably didn't need to. If your printer's fast enough and it can bridge that gap it shouldn't be an issue. Now I did print this in PLA but you can use whatever you want really. It did take about 29 hours to print but that was just at my print speed. And I printed it in black so I don't have to paint those internal lines, the layers inside the cake. But if you don't have black you can print it in any colour, it just means you have to paint those internal lines and also the exterior. Now mine came out pretty good but if it did have some rough edges you could always hit it with some light sandpaper just to get those edges off, clean it up. Now I'm just going to put some blue masking tape on those interior lines, that way when I spray it it's easier to just spray the external. I lucky enough found this color which matches quite closely to the Reddit cake color. And just give it a few coats of paint. Make sure you just wait and let it dry in between. Don't over spray it. Then once it's done and it's dry, what I used is a bit of a Stanley knife or box cutter to actually line up that tape. So actually cutting up into it. Now that gets a clean edge. If I just pulled the tape off straight away, it might have actually pulled some of the paint that I wanted to keep on there. So just do a little bit of effort into that and it'll come up nice and neat. Now any bits of where the paint has leaked through, you can always use a black marker or sharpie and just fill in that space. And it actually, after a couple coats of that, it actually looks pretty black. So you won't notice the paint run through. And here you go, here's the cake itself. Now what we're going to use to program this is an Arduino Uno and we're also going to use a real-time clock which is a DC1307. It also has a battery that you need to plug into the back and that battery is a CR2032 which is a quite common battery you can pick up uh, in a lot of places so easy to get. Make sure it's a full battery because as the battery starts to die off it doesn't actually store the date right and it has problems. So as you can see here I've actually soldered on the pins facing down which are on three of those pins and the voltage is actually a cable or a wire that then has a pin off it. Now you'll see in a minute when I go to plug this board in if the SCL, SDA and the ground pins are actually facing down when you actually pop it into the board it actually lines up nicely with the UNO board that I've got and you don't have to do additional wires. If your UNO is a bit different then you might have to run those wires to line up to the right pins but the way I've done it this way it's actually tucked in nice and neat. We've got the battery hidden, it's not touching or contacting any other part of the UNO board and all we have to do is get that VCC wire and we're going to place it in one of the voltage rails. Now we need to use the 5 volt rail. Now I do move it later on in the video. Now what we're going to do is install the HT1632 screen. Go check out my other video on that screen where I've done some basics on the setup of it. But what we're going to do now is install the wires which there's five of them. I've actually soldered jumpers onto each of those wires and I've heat shrinked them. Now you could just solder them direct to the board if you wanted to. Just follow the wiring diagram I've got there to the bottom left. Now just make sure that you wire the pins in the same way. If you don't you'll just need to make sure you change the code to accommodate with those pins but make sure you always do the 5 volt and the ground right otherwise the lights won't be bright enough on the screen. Now we just plug in the USB to the computer so we can program it and make sure you get your comms port right and programming. I've got the link to the code below but you, all you have to make sure you do is change the dates of when your cake day is. Now that's the day, month and year and that's the only thing you need to change. Now I have changed the code completely since I filmed this video but all you have to do is change those three components still and you're good to go. Also make sure you have the right libraries installed. You've got the real-time clock and the screen as well so make sure those libraries are actually installed. 
Now I'm just going to add some hot glue on the strip of the screen and which slots into the actual cake itself quite well and that's the way I've designed it. So I'm just going to add a generous amount of hot glue on the front and then once I put that in I just want to make sure I wiggle it around till I get it lined up and actually flush with the front of the cake. Now all you have to do after that is just add on a few dabs of glue at the top of the screen to hold it in place as well and that way it shouldn't come out or move around. Once we've done the glue on the actual screen, all we have to do is put a bit of hot glue on the sides of the Arduino where I'm lining it up here. Now you can place it anywhere you like, but I've set it up here so that it's a bit flush with the actual cake so you don't see those pins sticking out, but just a bit of hot glue is all you need. Now, once I've plugged it in, I can plug it in to a power source and it should be good to go. Now, it does count down the days from the today date down to your actual cake day that you've coded into it. Now, as it gets down to zero, it actually says today's your cake day and then afterwards it'll reset for next year. So, I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.